Did you hear how the zombie bodybuilder hurt his back? He was deadlifting. See, <laughs> isn't that a perfect joke? If you think he's dead lifting. Yeah? No? Yeah, well, I think so. Welcome to Shaven Butcher. It's day six of European Artisan Week. I'm tired, I'm not sleeping, I'm working relentlessly, endlessly to bring you this amazing content. Today we're shaving with Laugar or Logar. Sorry, Nina. This is uh, made by Nina. Um, Nina is, uh, well, we'll talk more about it. Logar comes in a pretty big tin. That's what it looks like. This is Skuxro, which is uh, a unit percent. Really nice. Maybe the coolest part of the shave, I don't know, is the Logar brush. So this is badger or something, thick as hell. It just sucks the living daylight out of any soap. And, uh, but, but a really nice knot. And it has a round, can you see? It has a round handle and it says Logar or Laugar on it. The lights in here are atrociously poor. This is wood, it's birch and it's uh, painted and lacquered black. I just, this is the most unusual and some of the coolest brushes. The only downside with this is you can't really put it down uh, so it stands up because it falls over. But what I, what I do when I shave with it, I load from the from the uh, the jar and I just put it there and yeah usually normally that's fine you know so it's not a problem really cool Nina the maker send, sells these on her website and you can find them at other locations as well so we're using that as a brush I have although it's not the same I have a Nina logo aftershave this is L dance. Um, which is oh god lemongrass and it's it's what i use as a as a um, body soap bath soap now i have been for a while so i've been smelling like this for a good month um forgive me for not having studied the scent notes but it, it's very nice sort of lemongrass citrus citrusy um the feather dx feather, feather artist club dx the non-peasant version of the feather. So this is for for, for rich people. Uh, cheers. Or if you're poor and you've been saving up. Okay, none of that. Enough about that, we're going to wet the face. And get cracking. So I met Nina. Uh, just a few months ago, there is a video of that meeting. Um, I, I traveled a few hours to her her studio, or you know, I wouldn't call it a factory, but where she makes her stuff. So Nina makes shaving soaps, but also, and more so, soaps for other purposes. So, so bar soaps for washing, um, um, detergent soaps is that for cleaning cleaning the house uh, soaps for uh, washing clothes doing laundry and etc etc she makes deodorants she does a whole lot of different things she's a very a very um, artistic lady and this is her job you know she makes a living or does her best to make a living out of making soaps and and creams and, and stuff like that with her bare hands and that's a tough job. I've, I've met and talked to um, well, all the four Swedish soap makers and uh, three of them are trying to make a living out of, out of the soap business. The fourth one should, as I said the other day. So I'm, I'm, the two of them I'm, I'm not showing this week. It's Grönlucka, Karina, who I've met 
and did a video interview video with as well and um, um, Mia who is Kali Cauliflower crafty name she just has one soap as far as I know so she's not getting a spotlight but it she works just like the others uh, really hard to make a living out of this and I just applaud that I applaud anyone who's self-employed and who's especially if you're an entrepreneur well no, not especially but it's extra cool and I'm extra fascinated by entrepreneurs and makers in particular who, who create things and who quit their job to uh, to make a business out of it I, I'm just that's so amazing I'm a safety junker, junkie, security junkie. I want to work for a big company and get my salary because some, somehow I think that's safer. It isn't necessarily because at the end of the day, um, whether you make a living or not has to do with how hard you work, how much your heart is in it. Um, how much you overcome difficulties and and so forth. So whether you're self-employed or employed, you know, your success is going to be very much the same thing. It's just the reward. If you are an entrepreneur and you've created something for for yourself, the reward, if there is success, I imagine must be so much greater than if you're just an employee like like myself um, you know I'm not embarrassed not to be a creative entrepreneur that's not what I'm saying and you know I'm a paid you know I get my wages and and I do my job and that's just as important or as what anybody else does my point is I'm impressed by this leap of faith into sort of the unknown because it is very often especially if you're if you're an artisan making soaps you know that's the unknown unknown in most cases it's not going to work out you know it's tough and you've made an investment in money you probably borrowed money from your friends and family you've invested your heart you've worked night and day and it still doesn't work out and that's that risk is very big. It's I, I, probably more than 50%. And, and the people who do it are aware of this, and it's, yet they do it. And that, I don't know, I'm, I'm just genuinely so impressed. That's, you know, it's people like that that make the world go around and develop and so forth. Because if it wasn't for people to set up businesses, big or small, and they're usually small to start with, no one would have a job, you know? This soap is fantastic. This brush is great too. It's so big, it's, I don't know what the measurement is. I think I asked Nina and she wasn't sure. It's like, it's big. And it's it's just so cool it's it's my coolest brush so she sells them they're a bit pricey but they're uh, you know it's it's a super knot. i'm not i'm not joking it's a killer knot i don't know what to call it and it is lovely and it's, it's this is a piece of furniture I told her to think about a stand or something. Just didn't didn't feel like she took that seriously. <laughs> then again, my dog doesn't take me seriously. I'm used to that. Okay, this is an enormously creamy soap. It's creamy beyond. It's like if if you don't put a shitload of water, and I still don't know if I put enough, actually. It's like a lotion, unless you, you, you drown it over and over. It's like putting it on the face, 
the same feeling as a, as a luxurious face lotion. You know, that's how creamy it is. Amazing. So that, you know, that sets this soap apart from a lot of other soap, a lot of other soaps. It's like having not even, I don't know, it's not even whipped cream. It's like sour cream, but it's, yeah, it feels it's yogurt, but it's, it's the good kind. Good kind of yogurt. And isn't that what you want out of the soap? It is for me. And Nina was a cool lady and uh, he cooked me lunch. Anyone who feeds me, I don't know about you, but anyone who gives me food, yeah, I like. Lovely, lovely. I could have added, I could still flick it off, but I could have added a teeny bit of it, more water. You've heard me said, say that, what, three times this week? You can, you can. If you have a good soap that doesn't get ruined with water, because only crap soaps, soaps do. I mean, I, there was once, I can't remember what it was, not too long ago, a soap that I overhydrated on purpose. Like a good soap, still a super shave. You you kill the density of the lather. You don't have a big fluffy lather anymore. But but slickness and performance and post shave remains the same, even if you put ten times too much water in. Now for me, that's that's the sign of a good soap. It doesn't lose slickness. With that, she's a keeper. So this isn't, this is me. And you saw how much water I put in. That's not gonna come off, but if I flick it, it comes off. So, so it's agile in spite of being so incredibly thick and creamy. Yeah. Well, Nina is, uh, is Norwegian and she's had an interesting life. She's worked all over the world. She was a, I hope I'm getting this right. She was a cook on Antarctica for months. She followed, a, a, what do you call it? A, a delegation, a, like a group of scientists expedition. And she was a cook and cooked for a lot of people for months and months. And, you know, she's, she's been on the sea quite a bit. She's done a lot of different things. She's been around and now she's making soap in the south, southwest of Sweden. So we welcome her. Most Swedes move to Norway because it's a richer country. Um, but we steal a few good ones and we're going to keep them. So an amazing soap and people who have used Loga, including f several friends in the UK and a lot of Swedes and a few Americans because course, if I'm not wrong, Marion the Barbarian is bringing across a few. Where am I wrong? I can't remember. It's been... What did I... <laughs> maybe I said... Maybe I sent one to... I sent one to CBD, didn't I? I think he liked it. Or he was being polite. But he's not really polite about that sort of thing. He's more brutally honest. <clears throat> so, you know... I really wish Nina success and I, I, because she's, she took this leap of faith and she's a killer lady um, and she welcomed me into her home and into her studio and she allowed me to, to film her and she's just great and 
I want for other people and especially people outside maybe Scandinavia to have the opportunity to, to try your product. I mean, this is, this is one of the soaps where honestly, you don't need a, a bomb, even if it's winter and minus 10 and you've been out all day like I am. I'm gonna put it on anyway, because why not? I do even in the summer. Because if you can, if you can moisturize a bit, even if you don't need to, mo why not? It feels good. A good aftershave balm doesn't make your skin sticky. Then your skin is sticky or oily. It's not the balm, never after half an hour. It's never the balm. A balm after half an hour or 10 minutes cannot make your skin sticky. It's not the balm. So you may not need it, but you can still put it on and it's gonna go straight into your skin. It's not gonna be staying on your, on your skin, making you feel gooey. If it if it's a good if it's a good product, it just won't. I have oily skin. I do. No matter how what, what, what kind of crappy soap I use, after or oh, call it an hour with no post shave routine, my skin is oily even in the winter. So I have oily skin. I still put on a balm, even in, in summer, almost always. Sometimes I wait an hour because I want to feel the soap. Oops. <laughs> There's an oops, oops again. Time to change that blade, you know. These, uh, this is a feather professional, and these artist feather, artist feather blades, I should say, are they? They last for a long time, but even long-lasting blades do give up after a while. So I just watched Matti Lindholm's video, his latest from today, and he's lending me. We're swapping soaps. We're, I'm lending him a few soaps, he's lending me a few. So you'll be seeing those. And he texted me earlier today and said, I put in a bit of a secret, but it, it's on loan, right? And I watched this video and I found out it's his, he says six eighths. I think it's more than that. But anyway, the, the celebrated Wade and Butcher, um, hollow smiling blade in, enormous condition with with uh, buffalo horn scales i think so i've been trying to buy that from him for about a year since he won it in raffle and he just won't give it to me but he's he's sending it with the soap as a loan so we'll be using that and that's really cool i've never used the celebrated Uh, he says in the video five times, I'm not joking, at least five times. Oh, but, but it's only on loan. It, I'm not selling this and you can't keep it. It's on loan, right? <laughs> so it's like he, he, doesn't, he doesn't trust me. He thinks I'm going to steal it. It's his best racer and it's, it's fantastic. So thank you so much, Mati, if you're watching. I can tell this is a very good shave. I can tell. If you're in Sweden and not a million miles away, you can visit Nina. Not, not any, at any time, but her sort of shop, it's not even a shop, it's her studio, her workshop. 
is open certain hours, certain days of the week, and uh, otherwise you can make an appointment. She does that, I know that. And I don't know how unique that is, but it's pretty cool. So she's in Dalsland, which is in the middle of a little bit of nowhere. But the, one of the most beautiful drives you can make, it's, it's, you know, it's God's country, it really is. It's absolutely, and almost no people. <laughs> that's, that's why it's God's country. So you can go see her and she'll receive you, you know, um, I think, if you're nice. And, and you should buy some of their stuff and, and, and have a chat. It's totally worth it, if she has time, so. So support your local artisans. There are loads of American ones. It's tough competition, so it's not easy. I don't think anyone's getting rich. But they do it. If you make shaving soap, you do because you love it because you're you're never gonna be rich on that so you have to make other things as well even a and e are making candles i heard on real talk i said it before you should you should listen to real talk it's on instagram it's uh chris bailey from imcdb and david gonzalez from so sharp david they have a chat for about an hour every two weeks at i think it's 8 p.m Eastern American time on Fridays every other week. So they had it yesterday. Uh, it's always interesting. I, I don't agree with half of what they say, but it's... No, I do actually, but you don't have to. It's entertaining. People comment and ask questions. Uh, the most interesting thing in this episode was they have a thing for towels. I don't know if it's an American thing or if it's those two. But there's something called Lancaster towels. So really pricey, synthetic, I think, material uh, towels, which it's not even cotton, or maybe it is, but it <laughs> looks a bit, and they're pricey and you can never find them. Uh, and they have special releases, etc. So apparently some new release of Lancaster towels was, was on the way and the gentleman from who makes them can't remember his name was on was listening and was commenting and, uh, and he said <laughs> and it went phew, straight I don't I, I suppose he, he knew what he was saying but he said uh, they're coming soon uh, it won't be long hang in there <laughs> that's gold because it's a towel <laughs> but no one picked that up and um, yeah, I just want to think it was done on purpose because that's pure brilliance that. I'm going to do a cold shave down here. So why don't you sing a song or, or, or think about something? Absolutely huge, beauteous that is. Now this is a sample. So it's El Dance, it's the what well, I can't remember, lemongrass, lemony, but whatever it was. And Nina said, Yeah, it's a glass bottle and it looks kind of cool, but you can't get anything out, so use a, a q tip. So I'm doing that. I've used this several times and you, you actually can get stuff out, but a q tip works pretty well. And if she's selling this, I don't know if she is. Um, she promised a, a better bottle, but it's really good. And I put it on in the shop, and I said, "Too thick, too. It's gonna. It's too sticky." And she said, "Just wait. Just wait. Three minutes." And I waited three minutes, and boom! It's just it was in the skin. So, so I said, wow. And she said, 
Yeah, I know. So it's brilliant. I hope you're selling it, Nina, if you're watching. Uh, if you're not, you should. And perhaps for northern climates or for cold climates, it's even better because it, it does take care of your skin. Some, um, some balms are, are nice and sort of refreshing and it, it, it does the sort of the witch hazily part of the shave, but they, uh, they don't moisturize enough. This stuff does. So anything that moisturizes you, freaking use it. And anything that moisturizes you and goes straight into your skin, even if you have oily skin, wow. You know, how can you turn that down? I'm not a bomb guy. Well, become one. Okay. Thanks for watching. We're back tomorrow, if we're still alive, with the last shave of the week with the European Artisan Soap number seven. Well, eight, technically. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try and stay awake to watch <sighs> Oilers Canadians. It's in the middle of the night. But it's worth it, just like you are. Sayonara and stay sharp.